welcome to learning etaps training series and uh, this one is our next video which will on the basis of creating a simple beam now before we creating this kind of beam first of all we will understand what are the properties and what are the actual loadings are given and at which distance the loadings are given so that it will be easy to model this thing into the etaps so first of all as you can see here is a continuous beam at this side the support is is a hinge support at this side the support is roller support and here that is also a roller support as well now this to the distance between these two supports is a 5 meters and the spacing between these two support is as a 4 meter here at a center midpoint of this 5 meter that is 2.5 meter the 10 kilo ton of point load has been applied and here the 5 kilo ton point load has been applied at a distance of 1 meter from this support and if we will take this uh, this point as a origin so this one will be considered as a zero now as you can see our unit system is mks so meter kilometer and seconds so we will use matrix system while we do the modeling in the etaps so let us we will go to the etaps and we will go to the file menu we will go to the new model and within the new model we will click on use built in settings with since we are dealing with the matrix system so we will click on matrix system of international so matrix si and as we as we are dealing with the indian code so it is uh, has been applied is 800 2007 that is latest steel design code and is 456 2000 that is concrete design codes and we will click on ok now here there is a uniform if you want to apply uniform grid pattern so you can directly apply the uniform grid pattern from here as well but in this case our grid pattern is not uniform here the distance is 5 meter here distance is 4 meter so we will create our custom grid spacing so for that we have to click on this option custom grid spacing and in that we will click on edit grid data so if you will be click on edit create data it will be opens up the new window here you have to specify your name of the grid let's say by default the name of the grid is g1 so let us we will keep the name as by default g1 now here you have to specify your grid data by two ways either by the ordinates or by the spacing so first of all in this video we will see the options to specify the grid data as a ordinate and next video we will see the options to specify the grid data as a spacing so grid data to specify as a ordinate now we will go to the care file and as you can see this is our ordinate so this is our grid number a this is our grid number b this is our grid number c like that so we will require the a b c so total three grids we will be required so a b c three grids will be required we don't require the grid number d so we can simply click on grid number d and we can simply click on delete now as our option has been already set to the display data as a ordinate so we have to specify the distance with ref reference to 0 0 0 so here the first distance obviously will be the zero because of it has been already applied with an ordinate zero now the second distance has been applied a distance of five meter from the ordinate and the third grid has been applied a distance of five plus four that is nine meter so here i will be set at a distance of five meter and here i will be set at a distance of nine meter now this is all about my x direction grid data now this is called as a y, y direction so as you can see in the y direction i have only one grid so it will be required only one grid data on the y direction so two three four you can delete and you will be required only one grid data on a y direction and you can simply click on ok and if you want to talk about the story data as you can see this is our coordinate axis so this is x data this is uh this is x this is y vertical and this one is about your z and if here we will require only one story data so we will click on number of stories as a one 
and you can simply click on ok so it apps will be open this windows that you had specified like this so you can simply click on 3d view and click on rotate 3d view and as you can see this is the same pattern which we had shown this is x this is y this is z so by mistake here there is a problem so this one is y and uh, this one is z so as you can see vertical is z on this side is x and on this side is y now as we are plotting this data in, on a elevation so we have to we cannot draw this beam as a plant in from the plant view so we uh, we have to switch to the elevation view so you can simply click on plan view so that this window will be activated and you have to click on elevation now you have to understand this uh, elevation view very accurately so that you can also apply in your project as well here as you can see this is my a elevation this one is my b elevation this one is my c elevation and if i want it if i want to talk about like this so this is my elevation one so i have to set my elevation at elevation one if i will be set my elevation a so it will be set to this elevation y z about a about a grid y z elevation about b grid y z elevation about the c grid same same as you can set it out x z elevation about the grid elevation one so you have to click on one if you are same following this pattern or same following this tutorials you can follow along with me as well and you can simply click on apply and you can click on ok so as you can see x z direction and the grid elevation that is one elevation now here we have to show the beam so as you can see there are two beams one of about 5 meter beam and another is about 4 meter beam so to draw the beam to draw the any entity within the etap software you can simply click on draw menu here there is option of draw beam column brace objects and in that draw beam column brace object from the plan view so you can simply click on this option and the same option can be also available from here as well so you can also simply click at here now as you can see here there is a red crossing red crossing is very most important so you have to click when it will be display the red crossing you have to click and then you have to move the mouse to the horizontal and when it will be display again red crossing you have to click similarly as you can see your beam is continue so your method of drawing the beam is also continuous so you can also click on this point and simply you can close this dialog box so it will be close the command and you can simply click on select object or press the escape twice to escape from the to exit from the drawing beam command so as you can see we have two beams this is first beam this one is second beam so you can click or uh, you can use escape to exit anything you can simply select any one of the beam and double click or okay so you can he ashish pandit here you have to do some trim so after drawing the two beams here our condition is we have to apply the point load at a distance that is center that is 10 km and here the point load at a distance of 1 meter that is 5 km so let us we will know that how to apply the point load within this system so let us we will see that method so from the e tabs if you want to assign anything first of all you have to select that beam and you can go to the assign as as you know beam is also called as a frame so you can go to the frame and you can also go to the point now here the type of load pattern but which is a dead load pattern and load type and direction which is force and type of load application that is gravity here these two options are very most important here relative means it will be considered the length of the beam as a one meter 
and absolute it will be considered the actual length of the beam i will show you the both option so if when we will apply the 10 newton load we will use the first option that is relative distance and we will when we will apply the 5 newton load we will use the next uh, option that is a uh, absolute distance so let us we will see so here the first option is relative distance from and i so and uh, i relative distance so here the length of the beam which is to be considered as a 1 meter since the actual length of the beam is 5 meter but if you are considering relative beam pattern so you have to consider this length as a 1 meter and here the load is applied as a center so you have to use half of the one that is 0 0.5 and the load which is applied as a 10 kN and here the distance is 0 0.75 but there is no load has been applied so it will not affect in our project so if i will be click on apply so as you can see 10 kN load has been applied uh, at the center of the beam let's say by mistakes if you are applying let's say 20 kN load So here the actual load is about 10 kN load but by mistake you had applied 20 kN load. So what you need to do, uh, you need to first select the beam and you need to correct your load and then make sure you use this option replace existing load so that it will be replaced the existing load. If you use this option add to existing load then again it will be add another load. So make sure you have to use replace existing load whenever you are applying wrong distance or wrong load. So at that time you can correct, the, correct those things from replace existing load options. Now here the load is applied at a distance of 1 meter and the load is applied 5 kN. So here what you can do. You can simply first select this beam and here we will set at an absolute distance and the distance is as a 1 meter and the load is 5 kN and make sure you click on add to existing load and click on apply so as you can see 5 kN load has been applied on this beam and click on ok so this is just introductory starting methodology very introduction methodology that how you can proceed for the uh, proceed for the for the modeling purpose so this we had model continuous beam and now one more thing we have to be analyzed here the type of loading type sorry type of the support is roller support here also the type of support that is roller support but by default ETAPS has been applied these two support as a hinge support so what you can do you can select these two supports by pressing the control key and you can go to the assign and you can go to the joint and you can go to the restraint and you can click on roller support this is my roller support and you can click on apply and click on ok so as you can see roller support has been applied so this is how you can apply the load within your pattern and you can change your support pattern that is a uh, roller support or hinge support like that